Where Does the Garbage Go? Written by Paul Showers and illustrated by Randy Chuning. Where does the garbage go? In our school, we are learning about garbage. Last week, our teacher told us about the way things used to be. She said there was a time when people who wanted to get rid of something just threw it into the garbage can. They threw in garbage like orange peels, chicken bones, the food they didn't eat. They threw in trash too. Empty bottles, tin cans, cardboard boxes, old newspapers. When you put garbage and trash together, you call it waste. Once a week, the waste was collected in trucks and taken out to the dump. In the dump, there were piles of garbage everywhere and all kinds of trash. Old tires, broken bottles, tin cans, old newspapers, broken chairs and sofas. In summer, the garbage rotted and made a terrible stink. Rats came to eat it. Millions of flies buzzed around. The dump was a great big mess. Today, some towns still have dumps where they leave their garbage and trash. At one time, New York City used the ocean for its dump. It loaded its waste on flat boats called barges. Tugboats pulled the barges out to sea, and the waste was dumped overboard. Most of the trash sank, but some of it floated. Often, it floated right back to the beaches where people were swimming. Ugh, yuck! After that, trucks bring loads of soil. The bulldozers and compactors spread the soil over the waste. The soil covers up everything. It keeps out the rats and flies. Then the landfill is ready for more waste. Then comes more soil to cover it up. Then more waste, then more soil, layer after layer. A landfill keeps piling up. It gets to be a little mountain. The layers of a landfill. Daily waste, daily covering of soil, dirt cap for layer one, dirt cap for layer two. New York City doesn't throw its waste in the ocean anymore. It has a special kind of dump called a landfill. Other cities have landfills too. Our town has one, and our class went out and looked at it. A landfill is a busy place. Trucks bring loads of waste from the city and dump it in big piles. Bulldozers with scrapers spread out the waste. Compactors with spikes on their wheels move back and forth over it. The waste is all mashed and piled. When the last layer of soil is spread on top of a landfill, grass and trees are planted on it. The landfill becomes a park or a playground. Then the city has to start a new landfill. Waste never stops piling up. Some cities try to get rid of their waste by burning it. They build big furnaces called incinerators and burn garbage and trash in them. The heat is used to warm stores and offices. It is also used to make electricity. 
but incinerators don't really get rid of everything. They simply turn the waste into ashes, and the ashes have to go to a landfill. Sometimes those ashes are toxic or harmful, and sometimes the smoke from the incinerator pollutes the air with harmful gases. How an incinerator works. Trucks bring garbage. Garbage is fed to a furnace. Furnace burns garbage in about 30 minutes. Gases from burning garbage must be carefully cleaned and filtered. Cleaned gases are released. Today, cities are having a hard time finding places for new landfills. Waste keeps piling up. People keep throwing things away. They throw away too many things. Some of the things they throw away could be used over again. Each person in the U.S. creates about four pounds of trash every day. That's a lot! Many cities are now trying something that is new for them. It is called recycling. Recycling means making trash into something new instead of throwing it away. Almost half the trash we throw away could be recycled. Look for this symbol on glass, metal, and plastic containers that can be recycled. Our city is recycling. We still put garbage in the garbage can, orange peels, chicken bones, the food we don't eat. But we keep empty glass bottles in a separate box. Aluminum cans and foil are kept separate too. When we put the cans and bottles at the curb, we pile the old newspapers besides them. We flatten our cardboard boxes and pile them next to the newspapers. When the garbage truck comes, it picks up only the garbage and takes it out to the landfill. Other trucks come for the bottles and cans and newspapers. Those things don't go to the landfill anymore. Our city sells them to factories and mills for recycling. Paper mills chop up old newspapers and turn them into new paper. Paper is shredded into pulp. Pulp is washed and bleached. Water is drained from pulp. Paper is dried and rolled. Aluminum factories take aluminum cans and foil and melt them to make new cans and rolls of foil. Cans are chopped. Decoder takes off paint from metal scraps with hot air, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Scraps are melted in a furnace, 1,220 degrees Fahrenheit. Melted aluminum is poured into molds. Glass bottles are ground up and melted to make new glass bottles and jars. Some bottles are sterilized and reused. Other glass bottles are crushed. Glass is melted in a furnace. Globs of molten glass are poured into molds. Blown in air cools glass. Even plastic can be recycled. Plastic factories chop it up and turn it into things like flower pots and park benches. Plastic is chopped into bits. Bits are washed and dried. Plastic is melted and poured into a mold. What are we doing to help the environment? We're separating our trash and recycling. We put our food scraps in the compost heap. I made a toy for my dog out of old socks. My family gives all our old clothes to the thrift store. My mom started a recycling program for paper at work. Let's start one here. I carry a lunchbox instead of a bag I'd throw away. We carry string bags to the store so we don't need to take the plastic ones. We'd only throw away. Our teacher says recycling is a good start, but we must do more. We must stop making so much waste. We must stop throwing so many things away.
We need to find ways to use things over and over again. That's what we have done at home. We used to bring our groceries home in paper and plastic bags. When we emptied the bags, we threw them in the garbage can. When we did that, we were just making more waste to pile up in the landfill. We have stopped doing that. Now we use string bags. They hang on the kitchen doorknob. When we go to the supermarket, we take our string bags and put our groceries in them. We never throw away our string bags. They are strong and hold a lot of groceries. We use them over and over again. <laughs> 